Hi guys, thank you for coming out. Oh my gosh, there's a bunch of people. In this keynote, I'm going to talk about what is catnips, what's it about, why am I doing it, um, also how I make my stuff, what's my process, where I get my inspiration from, bits like that, and also why I make my work. So what's the point of it all, um, and should I really be considering another job path because Instagram is a bit crazy. Um, and then maybe a Q&A? Yeah. Maybe? Okay, cool. All right. So I'm going to start with a little bit of an origin story about myself, uh, just to get that out of the way. Cool, this is me. <laughs> no, this is me. <laughs> um, so my name is Harry, I'm 19, and I'm from Grangetown in Cardiff. So yeah, this is me on a, in the castle. I'm not actually that tall, by the way. <laughs> That's Wales, if you, if you don't know. <laughs> and um, growing up in Wales, uh, I, there wasn't a lot of creative inspiration, so I sort of, um, I really used Roald Dahl and people like that as a sort of, a, as, a, as a point of starting off and really thinking about where I could take my work. Um, but really, apart from Roald Dahl, I mean, there's, I'm sure there are other creatives, but it was just a lot of rugby. Um, <laughs> and spoons, of course. Don't forget the spoons. And Gareth Bale. So this is me when I was like three. Um, and these are all the things I should have been focusing on. So, being good at school, uh, maybe trying sports like twice, like once maybe. I just, I didn't bother. Uh, and then basic social skills, of course. Um, I sort of said, nah. Um, and I made the executive decision to just watch Spongebob all day. And whilst I was watching Spongebob, I would religiously try and draw all the characters as they came up. So I probably have a back catalogue of like a thousand Patricks uh, somewhere. <laughs> My mum's just keeping them to sell on eBay, maybe one day. <laughs> um, okay, so now that I've sort of talked about myself, I'm going to talk about how I started Ketnips. So we're going to go through the humble and slightly off-putting beginnings. So this is my first post. Um, I'm not really proud of it. <laughs> I think it's a bit naff. I don't know what I was doing with the nose especially. Um, but anyway, it's a starting point. Um, so uh, yeah, just really, <laughs> I think I'm going to go back and delete it now. Um, someone said it's evil. I agree. Moving on. Okay, so I started in 2016. Um, and uh, this is what it looked like at the start. It was all kind of um, just weird. So we've obviously got a spin-off of Bart, we've got a kiwi, we've got an ice cream, looks a little stoned, uh, and we've got a very depressed snail. Um, so yeah, obviously really not on brand and it's changed a lot. Um, so yeah, humble beginnings and uh, moving on quickly to 2019. This is what it looks, now, it looks like now. Um, that's my Instagram. This is like something I animated endorsing Starbucks, because we love Starbucks. <laughs> no, we don't. Uh, I'm also making plushies, and um, yeah, so it's just super cute now. It's got big eyes, it's great. Um, and just very, like, yeah, it's, it's great. So what happened between 2016 and 2019? What changed up, and um, why I changed it up? So we're gonna go through the evolution of Bean. <laughs> okay. So this is being in 2016, this is how I would draw it. Um, so yeah, no legs, an egg head, and uh, yeah, squish eyes. <laughs> uh, and also, it was just super basic. I had a really crappy old iPad and I used to draw it with my finger. Like really like bare bones, just rubbish. Anyway, <laughs> this is it in maybe like 2017, 18. I start changing it up a bit. So it's a little longer now, it's, uh, it's got legs, thank God. Um, less squish, obviously. And we start col coloring it pink, so it's great. Um, this is it now. Uh, you know, super round, very, uh, very pronounced. Um, yeah, and just compact, it, you know, it's very functional. You know, it's great. <laughs> and it's got a little, little shimmer in the eyes to show you that it's good. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Okay, so now that we've got the character out of the way, I'm going to talk a bit about 
how I make my comics and um, why that's such a, a big part of uh, my work. So yeah, we're gonna run through the secret formula. Obviously there's no, okay, I wanna preface this by saying uh, there's no right way of making comics, but I'm gonna run through my process and uh, yeah. Okay, so 7% of the comic has to be cute. All right. 2% of the comic has to be punny. And then 91% has to be relatable. So this is, this is it. And uh, if you don't abide by this, you will fail. Okay, so anyway. Uh, so this is a clear example of a comic which hits all of these targets. And um, it's also, I threw in a bit of creepy just to spice it up. But, so yeah, um, and I really like this one. It's super simple, gets right to the point, addresses my uh, issues with uh, monsters under the bed. Great, cool. Um, but then I also try and do more complicated work. And this took like a month. I was super exhausted. But I love it. It's like, it shows a whole process of accidentally eating a pip. Uh, the pip becomes a whole watermelon. The bean gets pregnant in a sort of disturbing way. Raises the melon as its own. Um, and then, uh, yeah, watches it get married. The bean dies and then wakes up from the horrible nightmare. And uh, yeah, so we like this one. Okay. <laughs> So how do I get my inspiration? Um, you know, how do I come up with these really wacky ideas? Um, I don't really know myself, but I'm gonna try and like elaborate. Okay, so this is an example of, uh, well, I really just got this idea off my stepbrother. He's about five and um, he just kept bugging me. He knew I had games on my phone. So he didn't know where, but he knew they were on there. So. Um, <laughs> Yeah, he just kept coming up to me, and I was like, mm, no, and then eventually I just gave up. Um, so yeah, clear example. Another example is whenever I go out for Italian food, I always get the spaghetti late. So um, I had to, you know, call them out. They forget my spaghetti. I make a comic about them. So ask Italian, you know where you're at. <laughs> okay. So, okay, so you should save all your ideas. Um, these are all my ideas. Uh, I'd show you my notes, but it would probably give you a little bit of a, like a heart attack, because it's just, honestly, I could just keep scrolling. I haven't seen the start of my notes in a couple of years. Um, and it's, yeah, please don't read all of that by the, <laughs> the cut of crap. <laughs> um, so yeah, just pick an idea. So I picked one about the, um, there's a cat. So one time I picked up my cat in a towel made it into a burrito, and I thought it'd be funny to call it a burrito, because, you know, cat's purr, right? Makes sense. <laughs> so this is the drawing process. This video is super long, by the way. I didn't speed it up. Sorry. Um, so anyway, it kind of shows like how I get started. So I pick four frames, super simple, and then I'm just doodling, just doodling. <laughs> and obviously, like, yeah, the cat looks a bit weird. Um, looks even weirder there. Uh, okay, so obviously it takes a while, so I'm just gonna skip past. This is what it looks like when I finish. And um, yeah, so, you know, still hitting the marks, a little bit cute, you know what I, you know. I don't know, if you don't have a cat, it's not very relatable, but if you have a cat, <laughs> then you know what's up. Um, okay, so what happens after I post that? So this is the, end result of me posting on Instagram and kind of what I get afterwards off that. So I just got sent a bunch of pictures. <laughs> of people wrapping up their very booty cats in towels. Even someone threw in a guinea pig. I think that's a lizard. I'm not sure. Um, so yeah. Moving swiftly on. Why do I make beans? What's the point? Why am I doing it? Um, so obviously this isn't one of the main focuses of my work, but there's a bunch of stigma around social media um, and how it's affecting young people, all people really. Um, and it's super messed up. Clearly there are, you know, the rates of um, depression and anxiety are going up and it's sort of how do we ad address that in our work? Personally for me, I felt like it'd be important to really focus my work on 
making a sort of antidote to that um, in a really small, humble way. Um, obviously, I'm not fixing all the problems, clearly, but I'm, I just thought, like, why don't I make something cute, relatable, fun, that would sort of be a little bit of a, fresh, a breath of fresh air. Um, so I did some work with Instagram uh, two years ago, I think, or like a year ago, uh, where we did the kind comments campaign. So you might have seen this on your story. Um, I was lucky enough to do a sticker for them. This is me drawing it. Oh, wonderful. Everything's so neatly placed as well. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not staged. <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, so yeah, so then a bunch of people used it, um, really crazy, and this was sort of the tipping point for me and my work, and I, like, honestly, I, I owe Instagram my life. <laughs> so yeah, so uh, that happened, and I was able to go off and paint walls with the, with the character, do all these things, and super fun. Um, also in my work, I try and encourage um, talking about mental health, and you know, again, in very small ways, going over little little sort of motivational things of like, you know, try and be kind to yourself, love yourself, and you know, like small messages, but they might be used by people as um, like crutches maybe, or, or like, you know, not crutches, but like, I don't know, little reminders. Yeah, that's, that's sort of how I, I kind of uh, go off. Uh, anyway, <laughs> yeah, there's, there's no right way, because obviously, yeah. Okay, I'm moving on. So also finding a community. Uh, was a really big part for me and um, it's amazing in the past year I've been able to travel with all my work really just get out there and meet, your, uh, meet a bu bunch of people um, it's insane like honestly like I, for a whole year I was just sat in my bedroom doing nothing meeting no one other than like my sister and my mum and to be able to then like just travel with my work and set up pop-ups and meet people I made a painting um, which funded a respirator in a hospital, a kid's hospital in the Philippines. That was insane. Just doing all these things, it really brings it home and reminds you that you can have an effect. Um, and in a million years, I didn't think I'd be able to get to this point. So honestly, it's, it's insane. And this is my buddy, Marcel. You might hear him. Oh, we don't have sound? Okay, moving, moving on. <laughs> and um, obviously the other reasons, you know, it's not all selfless, you know. I do like to travel. Um, <laughs> Here's some pictures of me, you know, on my voyage. Uh, it's actually real. Um, <laughs> uh, the food is great too. That's me buying a bunch of ice cream. I love that. A bunch. <laughs> um, me eating pizza. And I, I'm suddenly feeling very hungry. Also, dogs. So I love dogs and I've been able to meet a bunch of dogs. So that's great. Okay, cool. Um, Symmetry. <laughs> I definitely didn't make this last night. What is symmetry? <laughs> Google says that symmetry is an object has reflectional symmetry, blah, blah, blah. Fixed point without changing the overall shape. OK, cool. Is the bean symmetrical? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Is a heart symmetrical? Yes. <laughs> Is the bean similar to a heart in that it represents love and happiness and all of these things? Yeah, kind of, yeah. So I guess the bean is symmetrical. No. Kinda. Sorry. <laughs> Great, so thanks for listening. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Hey.